Hello, this is Jack from the Sun Founder Education Team, and we are here with lesson number two in our exciting series of Arduino tutorials for beginners. In this lesson, I will walk you through downloading, installing, and setting up the Arduino software. Let's get started. First, open your favorite browser on your computer and type arduino.cc. Go to the Arduino website, look for the Software tab. Click on it and you will go to the Arduino ID download page. The official Arduino website may be updated from time to time, but there will always be an obvious software tab. Find the downloads area. You can see the latest version of the Arduino ID. The latest version of the Arduino ID at the time I made this video was 2.0.1. If you are seeing a later version, just download the latest version. I am using Windows 10. The first and second ones are installers, which you can run after downloading and installing. The third one is a zip package. It is the portable version of the Arduino ID. Just need to unzip it and you can use it. I recommend using the installer. Click on the first one, and you will be taken to a donate page for Arduino ID. The Arduino team does a lot of great things for the Arduino ecosystem. If you want to donate money, just click here. If you don't want to donate yet, it's okay. Click just download to download the Arduino ID directly. In the top right or bottom left corner of your browser, you can see the installer starting to download. The download will take some time. Wait patiently. After the installer has been downloaded, double click on the installer to start the installation process. First, you need to agree to the terms and conditions of Arduino ID to install it. Next, if you don't understand what this setting means, keep the default settings and just click Next to continue. Now you need to set the path where you want to install the Arduino ID. Install it in the default path or anywhere else. Click on Install, and the software will start installing. The installation process will take some time, so be patient. When you open the Arduino ID for the first time, there may be some prompts in the bottom right corner. Just ignore it for now. Let's set up the board and serial port first. These technical terms can intimidate people at times. Just take it easy. All you need to know now is, through the serial port, the computer communicates with your board. Click on Select Board, then click Select Other Board and Port. Scroll down to find Arduino Uno, or just search for Uno in the search bar. You need to tell the Arduino ID which board you want to use for programming. The Arduino ID will automatically install the libraries for the Wuno board. If they are installed, Arduino Wuno here will be black. If they are not, Arduino Wuno here will be gray. Although it is gray, it is still selectable. Select Arduino Wuno and click OK. Now prompt will pop up at the bottom right of the Arduino ID saying that the Arduino AVR board's core has to be installed for the currently selected Arduino Wuno board. Do you want to install it now? Click Yes and the Arduino ID will start the installation. The installation will take time, so be patient. During the installation process, the driver installation prompt will pop up. Make sure to click Install. Otherwise, the Arduino ID may not recognize your board, and you will not be able to upload the code to the board. When it finished, click on Select Board, and select Other Board and Port again. Find Arduino and O Board. The Arduino Uno has already turned black as you can see. Next, you need to set the port. You may or may not see some ports on the right at this time. If there are, remember these ports. Next, take out the cable and connect the Arduino Uno to the computer. After that, you can see a new port appears. And this new port has USB written after it. This port is the port where your Uno board is connected to the computer. Click to select and then click OK to confirm. When the Arduino ID recognizes this new port, it basically means that the Arduino is working properly with your board. Next, let's check the settings of the Arduino ID. In the menu bar at the top, click on File and click Preferences. There are a lot of basic settings here. The first one is the location for the sketch. In the Arduino ID, the program is called a sketch, and the place to store the sketch is called a sketchbook. All the Arduino projects you develop will be stored in the sketchbook location by default. 
change it to the location you want, or just use its default location. Next, you can make some adjustments to the Arduino ID interface. You can adjust the font size, the scaling of the interface, the theme of the Arduino ID, and the display language of the Arduino ID. Adjust the Arduino ID to make it more comfortable for you. Click OK to save the settings. Now, you have successfully installed and set up the Arduino ID. You have taken the first significant step into the world of Arduino. Now that you've set up the Arduino ID. And from the next lesson, you will learn to code. So, I will simply give you the concept of programming. It's important to be familiar with the process. What is programming? Simply put, making computers help us solve problems is programming. For example, if you want to make the Wuno board do something, like make the light on it blink, let you give it a command. You might say, make the LED on the board blink every second. Maybe you would say it in French, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. These are the languages that we use for everyday communication, often called natural language. But your Wuno board, it is controlled by this small Atmega 3 to 8 chip in the middle. And this chip does not understand natural languages. It can only understand specific instructions, which usually are a large string of numbers consisting of zeros and ones, and we call them machine language. Unfortunately, you don't have such a dictionary that can translate what you say into a language that the Wuno board can understand. This is where you need to resort to a programming language. For the Arduino boards, you need to use the Arduino programming language. It's not as complex as machine language, and it's different from natural language, but you can get familiar with it quickly by learning this tutorial. It's somewhat readable, and you'll see that it's actually based on English. Once you have converted the natural language into a programming language, you still need to use something called a compiler to convert the programming language into a machine language that your Wuno board can understand. This process is called compilation. What actually happens during this process is a bit more complicated, but at this stage, you don't need to care about it. Finally, you need to transfer the program to the NO board via data cable, and this process is called uploading. Once the program is uploaded to your NO board, the board starts working according to the machine language instructions, and the board will work as you wish. In short, the process of getting the NO board to help us solve a problem, or writing code, is called programming. After the code is written, the process of translating the code into a language that the NO board can read is called compiling. Finally, the process of transferring the code to the NO board is called uploading. That's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll use the Arduino ID to complete our first program to print Hello World from the Wuno board which is a classic program for programming beginners. Follow us and start your Arduino learning journey.